Hi Aquarius, how are you guys? I hope you are all doing well. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, May 18th to 31st, 2020. I am using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck for you guys. Aquarius, if you like the reading, please be sure to subscribe. And those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, for weekly general readings, links to everything you need are right below the video. Aquarius, May 18th to the 31st. Aquarius. Your cards feel perfect. Sorry, guys. I'm getting a cold. Queen of Pentacles. She comes out a lot for you guys. I've noticed that the past couple of weeks. Nine of Cups. Virgo. The Hermit. Sorry. You guys are my first step for today. Eight of Swords. Two of Swords. Wow. This has been out. And I've been using different decks. Knight of Rods. Knight of Wands. Wow, the Ace of Swords. Your overall energy for the next two weeks. Three of Cups. Uh, three of Wands. Well, you guys definitely have a couple threes here in this reading. So some of you are definitely involved in a three-party situation, relationship. It's a general reading. You know, it doesn't always have to be love. It could be with friends, family. This is things, you know, progressing, waiting for your ships to come in. And, you know, if you continue to work hard, which the Seven of Pentacles is, is under that, it will be rewarding for you. Your overall energy is three of cups. And it is a social energy, you know, parties, friends, family. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. Your Aries Leo Sagittarius. Scorpio could be important. You could be going out, spending time with this person. But with the Two of Swords under this earth sign, for those of you that you know are going out and spending more time with this person or considering it, because with the Two of Swords... Especially if you are an Aquarius with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart. You're definitely trying to make a decision. I mean, you have your heart closed off. Some of you could be thinking about reuniting with someone, trying to make a decision about that. And I do feel like with the Tower, that this person could really come back into your life again. Like, 
very suddenly, uh, you know, unexpectedly, totally out of the blue, those of you that are reuniting with someone, definitely could come back into your life very, just very unexpected, suddenly. You know, especially when I look at the Tower and the Knight of Wands sitting right here. This is both quick, sudden energy, very fast-paced. Like, for some of you, like, holy shit, what the hell just happened type energy. And you have this Nine of Cups here. You know, wish fulfillment, emotional happiness. I mean, really emotionally being very happy. You know, I think it's definitely hectic and chaotic for some of you. But I really feel like it's going to be an amazing two weeks for you. Like a big surprise. You definitely, you could be celebrating something with friends and family. Those of you that it's not love, if you're someone that's been waiting, like on clarity, news, information, you know, communication, this waiting for your ships to come in. The Tower of the Knight of Wands, again, things could be happening very, very quickly and suddenly, unexpected. If you're waiting on a decision or had to make a decision, truth, clarity, that's definitely coming out. Whatever this is, I do see it turning out very positive. Those of you that are already partnered, you could be partnered to a Virgo. You know, and if you have any, any, if you have to make any decisions, it probably is a good idea, you know, to go off, go within, spend some time alone, but stay focused on this star that's in the lantern because the star and the nine of cups, you know, wish fulfillment here I just feel like this this could be amazing and you need to stay focused on that on that star because some of you are definitely too much stuck in your head there's fear you know if you're working towards some kind of a goal Aquarius you know with the three of wands it is growth expansion You know, something's already begun, and I do see that here with the Seven of Pentacles. So things are already growing for you. You're probably tired. A little more work and effort. You're very close to your ships. Just to, They're just about ready to come in. But you do definitely need to stay focused. You need to try to get out of your head. Listen to your intuition. You know, I definitely feel like some of you need to get something off your chest. I really do feel like with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords, that someone really does need to get something off their chest. They, they need to admit to something, say something. But there definitely could be a lack of confidence with this. But in some way, it just might allow for you to be able to move forward. And I feel like the, the tower is going to just push you, Aquarius, toward this great change. But you definitely feel stuck within a situation or felt like you couldn't move. But I really feel like the tower is just going to step in, shake things up. And help you with that change. The change is definitely coming in. It is only a matter of time. And I feel like some of you. I 
It definitely could have something to do with friends, family. Maybe some of you are signing something. If it's something legal, it'll go in your favor. Whatever it is, it's positive and there is a lot of happiness surrounding this. I, I think for a lot of you, it is absolutely a surprise. I really do. Um, healing with the angels. Haven't used these in forever. Okay, hold on. Let me get the words out of my mouth. Aquarius. Additional guidance for Aquarius. Retreat. Look at this. Definitely. Definitely resonates very much. The Hermit. The Two of Swords. You know, in the Two of Swords, she's also blindfolded. So, I do feel for some of you, you really do need to listen to your intuition. I really do see some of you needing to definitely spend time by yourself over the next two weeks. You know, the Three of Cups is the overall energy. You know, it is a very social energy. It could be for some of you that you do have a lot going on. Maybe you have a lot of friends and family that's around you. So really at some point needing to make an effort to go off and spend some time alone. It's definitely necessary for some of you. Now if those of you who are reconciling with someone and they're coming back. You definitely could be going somewhere together. Great reading, Aquarius. Really. I, love, I absolutely love it. Not bad at all. But if it didn't resonate, again, watch your other signs. Again, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Absolutely adore you guys. And I will see you back here soon. Take care.